Some individuals are exempt from rules that should apply to everyone. A hero is suddenly a risk factor the moment the war is over. So you murder him. Crude, but effective. In reality, they have no need for living heroes, just dead ones. Here's a question, Alex. Can we stop Captain Mateus Torres? Depends on if you treat the captain or three strikes as a singularity. Both are. What happens when two singularities exist on the same field? That requires seven months of calculation with current resources. We'll just have to trust the guys in the field. David, evacuate. No, I still have to finish up here. The Erujan military finally sent part of the Alicorn specs. Its basic capabilities listed here were as we predicted. What's interesting is this over here. In addition to main guns, they have a 600 millimeter, 128 caliber rail cannon. The barrel exceeds 70 meters. Its range is over 3,000 kilometers. That matches what we calculated from the bombardment on Anchorhead Bay. The mini nuke they seem to have obtained has a yield of one kiloton. It'll destroy anything within a 400 meter radius of ground zero. Casualties are to be in the tens of thousands. I know some things are better left unsaid, but let me say it. That's less damage than I expected. Nice catch. Do you remember this speech? This boat has the means to end this hideous war in a definitive and elegant manner. The world shall be horrified by the number of lives we will take. Only then will they let go of their weapons. Weapons that would have taken the lives of 10 million. The imagery invoked by those words and the actual predicted damage just don't match. So, here's a question. <laughs> Sorry, got no quizzes for you today. They will launch the nuke on September 19th. Why are you so sure? Because that's the anniversary of the end of the Continental War. Anti-war demonstrations and victory parades are in full swing in Ulred. There's about a million participants in total. That number will rise on the anniversary. <sighs> However, this nuke isn't that powerful. They'd have to thread through the eye of a needle to achieve their desired result. Terminal guidance would be needed. Right. How do they intend to achieve it when even GPS won't work? You're all thinking too much. If we sink the submarine, it's problem solved. Crude, but effective. Crude? All right, look at this. The Alicorn's expected course. We know it was off Anchorhead Bay, and it has to get to Ored within range before September 19th. They must avoid being detected by Osea, its allies, sound surveillance system, and ships. Taking into account its maximum operating depth, this is the only possible route. The Alicorn will move along the Azalea Seamount chain and reach a rather blandly named body of water called PX-80443. The waters here are shallow due to an undersea mountain range and nearby islands. This is where it'll be. We also know roughly when they'll arrive in the area. Quite the prediction you have. Indeed, but if it makes it through, then you're looking at Peony Trench. The subsnax operating depth is 600 meters. Tracking it would be impossible. Right. Now I'm going to give you the mission details, so listen up. Our mission is to cooperate with the patrol aircraft to find the Alicorn. In the first phase of the mission, Multiple patrol aircraft will drop sono buoys to build a sono buoy barrier. Then, in the second phase, we narrow down the possible location of the Alicorn by analyzing the data obtained from the sono buoys. The results of our analysis will be data linked and shown on an overlay on your radars. And for the final phase, trigger. You're going to look for the submarine. We acquired one special MAD, a magnetic anomaly detector, for this. It will be on Trigger's plan. Fly over where we expect the Alicorn might be. If the submarine is right beneath you, your MAD will detect it. You'll also have nautical charts on your radars, so use them. Once it's found, our fleet will commence a unified attack with Asrox and sink it. And if we miss? Four ships will be joining the operation. There won't be a second salvo. So who's flying, Wiseman? Everyone except myself. Oh. This is an order. 
Now get your fat asses moving. Strider Squadron, sortie ASAP. Well, it's time for some treasure hunting, Trigger. Oh boy, I'm excited. Hey, stop screwing around. Don't be such a hothead, Hoosian. We all know what'll happen if we screw up. This is Patrol Aircraft Sector 1. We're deployed with some of the barrier. We're all prepared to buy the farm, and that's why there's so many of us. According to calculations, just one needs to fly to locate it. Those aren't the sort of calculations we like, are they, Trigger? Damn right. Same for the rest of us, too. They're here as predicted. Detecting hostiles. They're definitely aircraft from the Alicorn. Trigger, you take the lead. The patrol aircraft must be protected. All aircraft, follow Trigger. We'll come. Understood. Understood. Roger. Understood. Three strikes, rebels in the killing. Catch him while he's at it. Go. Rip the wings off that degenerate. Strider 2, engaging. Strider 3, engaging. Cyclops 2, engaging. They must have been waiting for us in the air. Here's a question. How many aircraft can the Alicorn carry? 20 to 30, depending on the type of aircraft, but it's unconfirmed intel. Could be more. With three strikes, you could reduce them to a single digit. Nah, you can reduce them to a That shirt's because of trigger. Those are calculations I do like. The answer soon enough. Trigger won't be able to defend them all. We're detecting additional UAVs. Intercept them. So there were more hiding. Can you get them? Target hit. Goodbye. Attempting to break into the lock. Fox 2. Prioritizing the control of the control side Okay, Fox 2. Right. Running? Wait, 
All aircraft, position yourself to hit the Alicorn as it surfaces. Right up. Submarine surfacing.
boats of floating objects in the waves. I don't think there are any survivors, Wiseman. Copy that. The enemy submarine has been destroyed. Operation is complete. That was unbelievable. Just all of it. That's right. Yeah. There are some who send those around them to their doom. Like Captain Mateus Torres was a devil incarnate. There are others. Others who show the way to everyone else. Those who stand at the forefront to cast a light. Those who follow them can't help but feel that they're in the right hands, that they'll make it. This is an era where there isn't a singular answer, like a quiz question. The world awaits a hero to keep the torch aloft, banishing the darkness. Quiet the poet. That's a story I'm gonna have to tell my kid. All aircraft and David, the operation is complete. Return to base and get some rest. Oh man, finally time for some munchies. Could you hand me the burger over there? Oh, and the knife and fork too, please. Once I get back to base, I'm heading to the mess hall. Operation is complete. Can we celebrate now? Yeah. Good work. Yeah! Wow. Yeah! Your next mission's in 32 hours. Whoa. Not <laughs> something I'll tell my son about. Give me a break. I'm good, Alex. Won't need that wake-up call every two hours anymore. David, only the summary is fine. Give me the report ASAP. I'll hand it to the president. That's why I haven't slept in the last 80 hours. 78 hours and 52 minutes. Okay. <sighs> well, now to the conclusion. Assuming that three strikes is a singularity, why not terminate him? There is a fact that has been observed in all of the missions three strikes has taken part in. All dependent elements that either mimic or follow the subject have increased chances of survival. Try to be more sensuous. Go Trigger's way, he'll make it. He leads the way. Really? Significance is high. <laughs> That's uncharacteristically illogical of you. <laughs> <laughs> is that really how you laugh? <laughs>